when the drought comes and all is dry, when we have walked through fire and our flesh is numb, when hell feels closer than ever before, how will we explain the insensible deeds our acts have caused? When rivers stop flowing and the sea is shrinking, when we wither and our bones weaken, when our skin betrays our beauty, how? How will we restore the very earth we were assigned to protect? There are things we can't avoid, truths we can't invade, things like life, regret and thirst. It's embroidered in our survival. We can't escape what we are meant to nature. We can never quench the world's hunger, though we could offer a sip. Will we remember the days when the storm came and all was washed away? The rainy days when the sun hid its face, when our carelessness and reproach was laid bare, when overindulgence was brushed off as just too much. Greed has broken up kingdoms and from the beginning of time caused more harm than good. What stories do these waters carry? What wealth does our generation carry? Can we safely rest here and await eternity? Do we have enough water? When we swim on pools of blood rivers, when we drown on selfish titles like baby fish lost in deep sands of what we confused as safety nets, I guess in life, we can never escape our mistakes and our desires haunt us. Will the ocean ever whisper the secrets of humanity to the sky? For the violence of the ocean's anger has always threatened humanity. Listen. Listen. Listen to the flow of poetry. Listen to the foretales of nature. Listen to the stories on the backs of seals and the whispers of those raindrops. Listen to still waters. Listen. The promise is not far from these shores. Sounds like heaven when you pay attention to those flaws. You will soon soak your thirst where the world meets the moon. You will know how crazy this journey is when you walk alone. Oh, how we love these waters. Only water can kiss our throats and nourish our dehydration. The joys of muddy children playing on potholes. Their laughs remind us our visions can save the world. These elements are formless and they belong to all of us. The sweetest rain fermenting the soils, giving life to existence drop by drop by drop by drop by drop by drop. We can flow into anything. We can penetrate the toughest rocks. The blues and who's and rainbows are a sign of the magic that we are. Water was created to soak pain and wash exhaustion, to taste like nothing but everything, to be and not to be, for you and for me. Water was created to assemble nations in unison, to break borders and create rivers, to stop fires and drown wars. Water was created for waterfalls, for summer days and lakes, for lemonade and shakes, refreshes like nothing on earth. Cheers to water. As we celebrate this element, may we remember those that the world has been cruel to, who only wish for a drop of the magic that we drink, whose tongues have not known a taste of clean water, whose bodies have not felt a cold shower. May every glass we drink from humble us beyond our daily thoughts about each and every person under the sky who is thirsty. Water is a human right after all. <laughs>